All right. So we started out with a uh, rendition of Chicken Francis by, by suggestion from our friend Mike Nicolosi. Uh, didn't quite turn out like that. It's kind of a combination of uh, Francis and uh, Marsala, maybe, because we use mushrooms. Because we don't follow recipes. No. But it's good, I can tell you that. I'm using my fingers. People get it confused. They think it's a French dish. Mm. It's not. It's Italian. Can I just get some macaroni and gravy? When they settled, or when they showed up at Rochester, New York, they brought this recipe with them, but it was with uh, veal. Then they opted for the more economical chicken, and that's where the chicken French came from. We'll show you how we made this. So these are our basic ingredients. We've got some parsley that we've mixed in with your egg wash that we're gonna do in a minute here. We've got our lemon juice and lemons. We've got our fresh garlic, mushrooms, onions, chicken broth that we're gonna use for the uh, sauce. We seasoned the, the egg wash with Everglades and lemon pepper. We're gonna use some butter. We're gonna use white wine, Pinot Grigio, and then we're drinking that. So I'm just gonna put that in the flour. A lot of people like to season the flour when they do that. I don't because we season the egg wash. And there's gonna be plenty of seasoning in the sauce. So you want a pretty good amount of olive oil in your pan, glob of butter. Okay, a lot of people like to put this on rice. We're gonna use angel hair pasta. So once your pan is good and hot, run that through your egg wash. Dump it in the grease. done yet. Be careful with this part. Mash it in the flour. Mash what? The butter. We're mashing the butter into the flour. We're gonna make a little buttery flour ball here. What's that for? It's gonna go in the sauce. So all that yummy crusty stuff in the bottom, you want all that. That's for the sauce. Just to get things going.
I haven't seen a recipe that uses onions in the sauce, but I like them, so I'm gonna put them in there. They don't sell hot dogs here. Get all that crusty chicken stuff from the bottom. Now, as soon as you want your house to really start smelling good, throw in all your garlic. Ooh, already smells good. Here comes some wine. Again, watch out because it's going to. let all that sit in there and you know develop a relationship with each other uh. about like that again just let the relationship start happening in there your chicken broth yes I am <laughs> Let me introduce you to my friend Garlic. Okay. Yeah, we'll let that reduce down for just a minute. Then we're gonna put that little floury butter ball in there. We're gonna put this chicken back in here for a minute. And let it finish cooking because we didn't let it finish the first time. On purpose. On purpose because we knew we were gonna do this. Now, I think it's time for the lemon juice. It's just one lemon. These are done. Okay. Back in goes a little more wine. Just a little bit. Once you start throwing flour in something, you got to keep an eye on it. Stir it. Almost looks like a chicken marcella sauce. So, I'm not sure we can really call this chicken franchise, but it's going to be good. Salud. Salud. And if you like leftovers, throw an egg on it. Yes. Just put an egg on it. In case anybody noticed, we got a new logo. Oh, yeah. If you like the logo, if you need a graphics designer kind of person, I'll put the email address for him. His name is Julian. I'll put his email address in the in the link below. Is it Celebrate a pork belly, butt, shoulder? What is it? Boston butt. It's a butt. It really is a butt. No, it's actually the shoulder of a pig. But they call it a Boston butt or pork butt. Anyway, that'll be a fun video. So that's coming up next. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks Love for watching. You. Thank you.